Hello guys, Omni here. It is that time of the week to catch back up with Flash. This is our second episode going into the post-crisis era of the show. Uh, last episode, we got to see some fun changes uh, to the continuity, thanks to Earth Prime, uh, the vibrational frequencies, uh, some metas have changed, uh, have different powers, identities, um, a whole bunch of new things just kind of collided together. Gorilla Cities on our Earth. Um, Lots of fun little uh, treasures to explore that I'm sure we're going to see more of throughout the remainder of the season. Um, but we got that cliffhanger at the end with Iris being sucked into that gigantic mirror in the Makala Technologies building. So I'm curious to see where this is going to go from here. Um, so, you know, without further ado, let's just uh, let's just get it started. So here we go. Picking right back up where that left off. Is this is this going to be our iris or like a mirror iris? Hmm. I love the new opening, by the way. It's not a banana. I know Valentine's Day isn't for a couple of days, but I thought, why not? Let me surprise my hubby before some crazy meta of the week strikes. I want a banana. I could always go in the kitchen. No, no. No, I don't want a banana. This all looks <laughs> awesome. I'm just excited to, to taste them with my mouth. <laughs> God. They good? When did you learn to cook? Yeah. I mean, these are, are really good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a mirror I iris. Have time to get a spread like this together. I mean, it sounded like yesterday was insane. I don't care when we have dinner as long as we're together. Alexa, I set a reminder to call Giovanni's today at noon. It's awesome celebrating Valentine's together, even if it's early. Yeah. No crisis, no dark future looming over us maybe this is a beer iris i don't know but iris learned to cook okay all right uh suspicions reignited what what did you speak italian aminette or i'll kill all of you hand over the case love you know what will happen if you take this CCPD. Eminent Black, I'm placing you under arrest for robbery and aggravated assault. So very official, Mr. <laughs> Allen. If you don't want me letting that little secret identity cat out of its flashy red bag. <laughs> so why don't we just call this a warning and don't think of coming after me? Because if I see you, you're one thing. Gosh, her I will hold expressions. it against all of you and tell the world your real identities. Savvy? Is that so, sweetheart? <laughs> some sweeps of the city oh she said no onesies please don't call it that <laughs> what i'm trying to say is we can't risk her putting team flash on blast if you want to figure out a criminal's plan visit their playground i still think it's better if i go the cop can't just waltz in there okay but it's mostly criminals in there it's really dangerous right it's my job to get information out of people if someone knows where she's headed next i can get them to talk it's what i do besides if things get dicey we have our code word Banana. Banana. That, you come for me. Look familiar. You must read the citizen. Get out. Get out. Get out of there. <laughs> I'm looking for Amunet Black. No problem, Lars. <laughs> what the hell? Banana. Banana. <laughs> Banana. 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 <laughs> now do I seem like our type? Seems like I need a new bouncer. Interesting. 
I'll keep you in mind. Now for the last time, where is Aminette? Is this Aminette's next target? Let's go. Ivo Labs. For the lady who has everything. Well, your source of the bar was right. She's here. Yeah, but what is she doing? Any idea what that tech is? But I bet he is connected to the first device she stole. Goldface is working with him. <laughs> well, they did yesterday. You're too late, Keith. Oh, Leslie. You know I can't let you leave with that. I don't think they're working together. Oh, here we go again with the possessive man routine. The vinyl records were mine, Keith. I had OK Computer on a 180 gram <laughs> vinyl with a triple gatefold sleeve. Overrated. You skipped that with my straight out of Compton soundtrack. Oh, please, like you even knew who NWA were before you met me. <laughs> Second, I thought I was like, that Agent Coulson? <laughs> about an old record collection that's personal personal doesn't just blow over okay so i called ryan Choi. if you combine the two it can be used to transport delicate plant-based life they're after a plant why i don't know we use the leverage we have we get close to amunet and we solve this thing from the inside no but i mean that's way too dangerous i trust my intuition my intuition by the way that saved my life from an assassin while you were on some island I didn't forget my files at the office last night. I was following up on a lead. Following a lead in the middle of the night? I mean, something could have happened to you. That, Barry, that right there. That's why I didn't tell you. I don't need you to save me. I can handle myself. And you know what? While you were preoccupied with crisis, I was planning to start a life without you. And it was the hardest thing that I ever had to do, but I did it because you asked me to. And risky or not, I deserve to be in that field just as much as you do. I know what you're after. Cappuccini's daughter, a rare orchid recently shipped for study at CC Arboretum. When adequately heated, it can be synthesized into a telepathic narcotic. But if I could use the pollen, then I could read his mind. Oh, why didn't you just say so? <laughs> that I can believe. We're going flower shopping. <laughs> Cheney's daughter was meant to be our greatest school ever. Mm, as business boomed, our relationship didn't. W why don't you just tell him how you feel? I'll talk to him. <laughs> Hello, lover. <laughs> Flowers. You should have. <laughs> I'm done playing her game. I don't risk anything to save you. My life got better without you. Yeah. You're dead weight. <laughs> You're the biggest mistake I ever made. And I've always had this one really bad habit. Breathe. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you guys 
were happy together once, right? Why'd you break up? She stopped listening to me. I needed her support when things went bad, not her cold shoulder. I got tired of him always celebrating with his posse. Okay, see? I mean, you guys are talking now. This is great, right? I said no onesie. Okay, why does everybody keep calling it that? There's an awful lot of gold in there, Flash. <laughs> the plan. Burn the flower. Just a snap lightning. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> uh oh. They're gonna read each other's minds. I'd hold you forever, but that still wouldn't be enough time <laughs> together. The sight of your <gasps> eyes fills my heart with gold. What's happening? <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> oh. I can't unsee this. Well, at least it's less violent than I can. <laughs> Barely. What? 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 God. <laughs> oh yes all right that was a cheesy gooey valentine's episode and i dug it goldface amunet's relationship issues bleeding into the plot into the streets i liked it it was cringy it was cheesy it was hilariously beautiful absolutely dug it uh seeing that parental advice from uh nash was interesting so i guess it's fair to assume that allegra in his universe was his daughter uh but what was that ending why did we see harry is this i'm <sighs> I'm really wondering what that might lead to, because uh, was he really there? I doubt it. Um, I think this might be tied to the, uh, maybe what we're going to learn in Batwoman with the two Beths and whatever is connecting their minds. Maybe, I'm, I'm assuming that they're going to have to merge into one being. So I'm wondering... If this Nash, now after Earth Prime, he, he is Nash and Harry. But he doesn't realize it yet. And I don't know. That's just a theory. That could even be a stretch. But we still don't know where that conclusion, that cliffhanger and Batwoman's going to go with Earth whatever Beth and Earth Prime Beth, Alice. So. I don't know. That's just my thoughts on this episode, what that might mean. Uh, and then, you know, it was an iris. I, it was, <laughs> uh, it had me convinced in the end that this was all just, well, maybe she did grow. Maybe she did do all of these things in the background. Maybe she is a better cook. Maybe she is, you know, uh, she did learn Italian and all this stuff it is nope 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 iris is still on the inside of that mirror so that i liked uh i, I don't know i really enjoyed this episode it's, it, the only bits of the episode that i just couldn't care less about was the allegra stuff with frost I do like that Frost is like trying to like, you know, get more in touch with her emotions, other people empathizing, helping people. I like that arc continuing. Um, outside of that, it was okay. I just wasn't too invested in it. Seeing <laughs> this mirror Iris 
uh, go into that bar and just like pl take on these roles. Does it, I wonder, does this, whatever it is, realize it's not actually Iris? I'm curious about that. Does it know it's not the real Iris? Does it have its own agenda? Don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but like them, like going undercover and Barry playing quarterback in that moment, banana, banana, banana. I, I love that moment. It was so funny. Overall, I like this episode. I really did. Um, so far this season the, the has been really great. Uh, leading into crisis. I felt like the episodes were really strong, uh, following crisis so far. I think they're off to a great start leading into the second half of the season. Um, we don't necessarily still know who our big bad is. I'm assuming it's going to be Mirror Master with the Ava McCullough storyline, the Mirror, obviously. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll just have, maybe that'll just be one villain. Maybe not the necessarily the big, big bad. Maybe we'll have a couple. I don't know. Uh, we've lost track of Ramsey altogether at this point. So, uh, I, who knows? Everything's up in the air right now, but I, I like it. I, I like where it's going so far. They've, they've got some good, they've got some good writing it going into this and I really enjoy it. So that's my takeaway from this episode. So I'd really like to know your thoughts. what do you think of the episode? Share your thoughts in the comments below and we'll have that conversation after the video. And guys, if you like the video, Please support the channel by liking, commenting, subscribing. It really helps me out. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next week with the next episode of The Flash. Thank you guys for tuning in and take care.